The surgery that uh, I'm involved in most uh, is on patients with inflammatory bowel disease, which basically in involves two different conditions, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. If you look at the big picture, um, most people with Crohn's disease at some point in their uh, life will require surgery, unfortunately, uh, somewhere in the 70 to 80 percent range probably. For ulcerative colitis, it's more like maybe 30 percent or so of patients will ultimately require surgery. So. Of course, we try to avoid surgery if at all possible, and usually I get involved as a surgeon um, when patients are not doing well from one standpoint or another, um, often uh, not doing well in terms of the medications that they're on, the medications are not working to control their disease. The operation we do most commonly for ulcerative colitis is called the J-pouch operation or ilioanal J-pouch surgery. It's got a lot of different names. Some people call it uh, the IPAA procedure, which stands for ileal pouch anal anastomosis. In any case, uh, ulcerative colitis tends to involve inflammation of the entire colon and rectum. Um, and uh, what we do at surgery is essentially remove the entire colon and almost all of the rectum, leaving just a tiny bit at the end where the sphincter muscles are, the muscles that control continence, which are very important to keep and uh, keep intact, not injure, uh, so that um, things can work well after the surgery. And what we do is remove the colon and rectum, and then we make a pouch out of the small intestine or the ileum, and we put things together. Taking care of IBD patients is kind of special because um, I'm able to um, follow patients often for a long period of time. Um, there are patients where we do surgery and we're able to fix something and then they never see us again. And I always tell patients, you, you never want to see me again if you don't have to. Most people don't want to see their surgeon more than even once or certainly more than once. Um, but the nature of IBD is that um, they can be chronic diseases, especially Crohn's disease, where um, we often have to operate on patients a second or third time, sometimes even more over the course of their lifetime. Even with ulcerative colitis patients, when we do J-pouch surgery, I often uh, see these patients uh, on an annual basis and do their um, scope procedure, for example, to see how everything looks inside. And um, it's kind of special for me. I mean, medical doctors tend to have long-term relationships with patients, which is great. Um, that's one thing that a lot of surgeons miss, and but again, and with IBD patients, I tend to um, see them periodically over time. Uh, with the J pouch patients, it's um, particularly gratifying when they have a good result, and I'm able to kind of see them year after year, and uh, you know, kind of catch up, find out how they're, do they're doing, and see that their life is sort of back to normal. Um, and. Uh, Sort of similar with Crohn's patients. Um, usually if they're back multiple times, it means they're having recurrent problems, but um, we do form you know, the longer term relationship that's uh, really important. And it does go hand in hand with our sort of multidisciplinary way that we take care of these patients because we work so closely with the gastroenterologist. So um, often, uh, you know, it's almost a three-way relationship where they're seeing the gastroenterologist, they're seeing me, and we can sort of communicate back and forth and um, try to, at, at each point in time, do obviously what we hope is best for the patient. Most people that have J-pouch surgery are having surgery because, like I said, their quality of life is really poor. They're often unable to um, work or go to school or um, you know carry on kind of normal activities and and with the j-pouch surgery uh, they can get their life back they don't have to be worrying about going out of the house getting in a car going for a ride going to a movie or something like that so it's really very gratifying to take care of patients uh, in this kind of uh, situation and um, to do an operation that uh, helps them so much